Hello ladies and gentlemen, Clistawire Redux here and as promised, upon request of a tutorial for my Etho style horse timer, I am going to go ahead and make a tutorial for you guys. So get ready, I'm going to go ahead and pop into a blank world because I will be making a new schematic file. It seems like maybe the last one I posted was a little bit buggy and I'll probably detail it and post a world file as well. So let's go ahead and pop into a blank world and we will get this project started. Okay, so here we are in our little floating block in the sky. We're going to go ahead and start right here and we will build seven blocks up. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And this will be the start of our one tenth segment of the timer. So from here, we're going to go ahead and extend this out. 18 blocks, so there's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. And then from here, we are going to have our outputs. Every other block, so we got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9. So it's actually going to be 17 blocks long, sorry. And... Each one of these will be the output for our timer. So they will each represent one tenth of a second. So we will put repeaters set to one tick. And then we will go ahead and put the lamps that represent how much time has gone past in front of the repeaters. Right now I'm holding shift and space at the same time, which makes it easy to place these lamps in front of the repeaters. That's a nice little trick I, I learned recently. Now from here, we're going to place repeaters in the gaps between where these repeaters are. Once again, they will just be set to one tick. And then in between the repeaters, we will set redstone. So these are the repeaters that will be getting locked. And for our locking mechanism, we'll go ahead and do it in this dark gray wool. So we will do it as you see here for now. And we will place repeaters once again set to one tick facing into those repeaters. So this is what will be locking these repeaters, locking a signal in front of them and that will stop the timer when is appropriate. And then we will put a redstone along this line of wool here. And now what we need to do from here, a little bit of changes. This block, which we will see why we do this later, actually needs to be raised one. Part of the reason is we are going to carry the signal downward, as you can see here. Uh, the signal will also be carried upward, which is why we need to split it like this. So now this repeater will charge this block, which will charge this redstone down here. Then we want to carry the signal down. And it will go back to where it started. So this signal will constantly go through these repeaters, down the bottom, and back up top. Now for this top portion, you see if we put redstone here, it will get cut off by this full block. So we need to make another change by putting a slab here. Then we will replace the repeater once again. And as you can see, because this is a half slab, the signal will carry through here and there's no block to obstruct it because it's a half block instead of a full block. Now the last thing we need to do for this one tenth of a segment portion is we need to carry the signal as far as it can go, which will be 14 blocks. It could actually go 15, but we're going to do 14 right now. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. We're going to break the 14th one, put a repeater here. Put a block in front of it and once the signal gets here it will charge this block and then carry on so this repeater will act as the tenth one tenth of a segment since there are only nine here 
and make the charge go through a full second. And then there's also a reason for this block being raised, uh, which will work for the resetting mechanism. So that'll be it for the first portion of this. Hope you guys followed it along okay. And let's continue to the one second segment right now. Okay, so we can go ahead and set up the second segment of this mechanism. We'll go ahead and place a lamp one space above the lamps that we've already placed. For now, we'll just continue it on. And we can break those lamps in between. So we are once again here. For this top portion, we're going to go ahead and use dark green instead of light green. It's a very similar mechanism. Only the way it's initiated is going to act a little bit differently. So once again, we will put blocks into these redstone lamps with repeaters. That will be our outputs. repeaters in between just as we did down below because once again we will be using uh, locking repeaters to this upper segment now for our locking mechanism we will be using black wool this time let's go ahead and stick redstone in between here for now Continue the black wool all the way through. To this repeater here. Again, wool in front of each repeater with repeaters pointing into them, which will allow them to lock. We'll go ahead and finish this up with redstone here. And there's no need for a loop around the bottom because this timer is only going to work for horses that will get through here in less than 10 seconds, which is every horse in Minecraft. So what we have next to do is set up what is going to actually initiate these locking repeaters to allow a signal to pass through, which is dependent on the signal down below. So there's going to be a signal, signal cycling through each of these repeaters and it'll take one second to get to here in which case it will actually unlock the repeaters up here and allow a signal to go one block up top. So let's go ahead and set up what is involved in doing that. Beyond this block here we are going to have to set a repeater will be set to two ticks. It's the only repeater I believe that's actually not just the default one tick. And then we have to carry the signal upward as you can see here. We'll carry it one over. Let's go ahead and stick another piece of black wool right here. So after a second the signal will get carried through here. It will be carried down the bottom and back to the start but as well it will come up here through here into this block and what it will do is turn off this torch which allows a signal to go through here so how do we get the signal up here we're gonna have to make a quick change and I will show you guys how to do that right now so what we're gonna have to do is actually raise this block up one let's put a redstone repeater here we're going to need droppers. So this is going to be essentially an RS NOR latch actually. So we have a dropper right here. We're going to need another dropper facing this dropper. So what's going to happen is when this signal is activated, it's going to send a signal to this dropper into this dropper. And when this dropper gets filled up, we will have a comparator which will send a signal out from here 
and into the first repeater. So this will allow us to reset this entire mechanism much more efficiently and the first light won't be lit until one second after the first cycle down here. So what we will have to do also is go ahead and stick something in this comparator because it is a couple redstone pieces away we're gonna go ahead and have to use something that is unstackable the cheapest of which is going to be a wooden shovel so we'll stick a wooden shovel in the comparator here so once again after one second this signal will be turned off and then the one tick later it will be turned back on which will cause this dropper to send the shovel into this dropper here which will send a signal into the first block so we can go ahead and recreate that by just uh, go ahead and break this break that and as you can see the first light gets lit and then from here the signal will just carry on every one second through each of these lock and repeaters so this is an RS Norlatch here and the lovely thing about it is that we can reset it when we power this dropper here it will send the shovel back to this one and the whole mechanism will be reset so what we have to do next I believe is setting the starting and stopping mechanism for this so let's go ahead and get that started okay so we're gonna go ahead and start with the starting mechanism first of course so let's go ahead and place a block right next to where this redstone is here and then we are going to continue the signal downward using half slabs. So we're going to put two half slabs here as you can see. We'll put a full slab here which will lead into a monostable circuit. So we'll do full block, full block, another block right here put that one there you guys will see soon why in the future um, as far as uh, right now so we're gonna go ahead and put a sticky piston facing upward piece of redstone here repeater set to one tick there let's continue the redstone upward and this mechanism right here with the sticky piston and a repeater set to one tick will send a one tick pulse through the system. So it's a monostable circuit. And we will go ahead and place the tripwire hook here. Extend the string out one, two, three, four, five. That should be good. Place a block on the other side with the tripwire hook connecting it all. And as you see, when I go through this, should send a monostable pulse through this mechanism. But it's currently locked, so and that'll do it for now. Let's go ahead and start on the ending mechanism. Okay, so let's go ahead and work on the stopping mechanism. What we are going to do is place a block right here another block right here we will do a redstone repeater facing into this black block which when the mechanism is stopped will ensure that these repeaters up top are locked as well as the repeaters down below because this is going to power this block which is going to power all the redstone down below let's continue the signal on down this way and we don't want it interacting with this green signal right there so we'll go ahead and block it off with a solid block and then we will continue the signal downward one you can see here then we'll use a stone slab and then from here we will stagger the signal downward so we'll go there Whoops. signal there You know what I'm getting at. So there you have it. Signal's going to be sent upward. 
and from this point right here the signal will be sent by the stopping mechanism which we'll use black wool for we'll use a black wool sent up to four slabs and into this black wool we'll go ahead and place a repeater make sure it doesn't get too dark here another black piece of wool and then I'm going to go ahead and set another RS nor latch here so I'm going to put black wool black wool two droppers facing into each other we can go ahead and delete those two pieces of black wool and as with the RS nor latch up above we need a redstone comparator so when there's an item in here it will be sent upward so in the one without the comparator in it to begin with we could put a wooden shovel or anything at this point because we don't need the signal to reach more than one block because we have a repeater right after it so here we are with that And then from here, we'll go ahead and place a tripwire hook, extending out the equal length as the last one. Mm, black wool. And then another piece of tripwire. So as you can see here, when we cross this tripwire, should send the item that was in this dropper into this dropper turn it on the comparator up here which will turn on all the locking mechanisms to make sure that the cycling of the signal through these repeaters gets stopped okay so we are getting very close um, to completing this mechanism now we have the final and uh, as I might say the most complicated part of this build which is the reset mechanism so let's go ahead and do that uh, next okay so it's time to start on the uh, reset mechanism okay and what not hope you guys don't mind the uh, CMB Minecraft references I know some people don't like when I use them but it is a shout out to one of the greatest redstoners ever CMB Minecraft if you don't know who he is check him out so what we are going to do is stagger torches up and down so the top one will be left on so we'll have three there then from this point we're gonna go ahead and have a repeater facing into this from here a um, block above it as you can see here and then a torch facing into that which will enable this repeater uh, this repeater should work on three ticks I like to be safe and set it to four in case you're working on the SMP server and you might get lag or something so this should be pretty good here now what we're going to do at this point is we're going to stop start below this white block right here. Going to set the repeater right there because we don't want the signal being traveled from this block down below. Then what we're going to do is one, two, three. Then beyond this one more repeater. Redstone in between. Then we'll put a block up above, block down below. Once again, a block up above, block down below. And then a block up above. And what this is, is a pulse extender. So we're going to set all the repeaters between these blocks to their full four ticks. As you can see here. And then there will be one last one over here and 
And then beyond this, the signal will be sent upward. So this is a pulse extender. A pulse will be sent through these two regions at the same time. And this pulse on this side is going to take several ticks longer than it will over here because these have the repeaters and these won't. But when a signal gets sent through here, it's going to charge this block here. And then through here again, it's going to charge this block here. Let's go ahead and set another repeater right here to four ticks. And then from here, we are going to extend this out as far as it goes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. That's how far the signal reaches. We'll have to extend our little island later. One more repeater. And from here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10 and then bring it this way which will be the initiation of our starting mechanism so we want it lined up with our other tripwire hooks we will extend it out one two three four five once again put a tripwire hook we don't need that block anymore In fact, that is the way that should go. So now this will reach 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 blocks, no problem. Continue through here, which will initiate the beginning of our restart mechanism. What this is going to do is essentially restart the upper half. And now what we need to do beyond this is restart the lower half. So let's go ahead and get that started. Okay, so here's where we left off. What we want to do at this point is continue the signal on upward. So we'll do that by placing a block there, a block there, a block here. So the signal can carry on up, up. Place a redstone repeater here. Then here we got another change, which I apologize much for. I thought I was accurate with the placement of this block right here. I told you guys I would explain why that block is here in the future. But really, it's a couple blocks off, so you can go ahead and delete those. We'll place a full block here. This repeater should still be just set to one. So this repeater is facing directly into a block, which has a sticky piston. And then from there, a full wool block. Let's have a repeater facing into that full wool block. And from here, redstone to continue the signal on. So this won't affect anything. Uh, you just got to make that change to make sure that signal lengths work just fine. So beyond here, we're going to continue the signal as it reaches through here, this is essentially a reset mechanism uh, to ensure that up above this signal gets sent through all one tenths of a second without cycling over and over and over again when you want it to be reset. And then from here we're going to extend this reset mechanism all the way down. So we're going to go ahead and place redstone, 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 redstone. This repeater is going to power this block, which will send the redstone down accordingly. And we want to power this dropper right here. Let's go ahead and that should work. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. So that's going to work out perfectly. And one last thing we have to do is make sure that the upper portion of this mechanism is reset. So we're going to go ahead and do that by removing this block, placing a redstone repeater so the signal still gets sent downward 
to this dropper here, but we want the signal sent upward, which will disable this torch right here. Signal will feed upward. And that'll do it. So, when this mechanism gets restarted, essentially what you want to have happen is this signal gets turned on and the upper signal gets turned off. So, that is it for this entire design. Um, I'm going to go ahead and decorate this and I will make it look pretty and release the word file and the schematic file for you guys. If you have any questions for this tutorial, if you have any problems, uh, let me know. I'd be happy to answer them for you. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. So one last thing, which I believe was excluded from my schematic file, which is the reason why it didn't work, is you need this repeater to be locked as well. I'm going to use quartz blocks because that's what I'm going to use to decorate the whole mechanism. But as you can see here, all you need to do is extend the signal downward. I think I cut off this extra block and this will make it work perfectly. So I'm going to go ahead and decorate it. See you guys in a minute. All right, ladies and gentlemen, so we are back. I got this whole thing nice and fancied up for you guys. And I employed my horse over here. Shay to help me out. And now let's go ahead and give this a test run. So here we got the reset. Mechanism reset. Starting. And we go through. And there you have it. it took us 3.5 seconds to get through this. Let's go ahead and give it another run. Mechanism is resetting. Going through the start. And the finish. There you have it. Once again, 3.5 seconds. So, I'm going to release this entire world and this as a schematic file. And I hope you guys really liked this uh, video. Hope the tutorial wasn't too brutal. It took me a long time to record that. Um, but, hope you guys enjoyed this and until next time.